Greetings YouTube, welcome back to my Final Fantasy 7 series and today we are going to be taking our first steps into the pig wide world of advanced W item duplicate glitching. Now this is actually new to me, I've not done this before on a previous playthrough. Um, obviously we all know about the standard form of this technique where we can duplicate battle items such as Megalixias and Elixias. I've been doing that since pretty much my very first playthrough. But using some of these more advanced methods we can actually duplicate non-battle items as you can see here with the Minerva Band, an item that is stolen from Elena. And I'm going to show you how you can do this on the Turks boss fight and then you can use this technique on other, uh, on other enemies in the game that have their steals as well. Now even these advanced techniques aren't new techniques by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but they are new to me. Like I say, I haven't used them before, so I'm hoping that they're going to be new to some of you as well. I do want to give credit to Lomax, one of my viewers, uh, who has actually made his own series on the advanced W item duplicate glitching thingy, and I would point you to his videos as well. I'll leave a link to them in the description. They're actually going to be far more in depth than what you're going to be seeing from me. I'm just going to be showing you how to do specific instances of the W item advanced glitching, whereas Lomax goes over the whole system in a great amount of detail and I've learned a lot from it I know you guys will as well so make sure you go and check those out uh, and uh, subscribe to his channel as well if you like what you see so before we actually go to Midgar at this moment we don't yet have access to the W item materia we need to prepare before uh, we actually get that material because straight away we're going to be encountering the Turks and the way we do this is we need to stock up on greens yes greens and that might sound strange if you don't know what we're doing here but trust me this is what we need to do we need to make sure we have one green of every kind in our inventory and only one green these are going to be our dummy items we're going to be using these to glitch and duplicate the items we actually want from stealing so make sure if you have multiple copies of a green from chocobo breeding or whatever that you sell those and just retain one of each green no more no less there are eight greens sorry eight yep greens in total in the game uh, or eight different types of green make sure you have one of each and you will be good to go just a tip for you to keep them all in one place so you can see what you're doing if you go to your item list you can sort by type and once you've got one of each green there's just a couple of other things that we need to do before we head over into midgar and here's the thing we need to know we cannot duplicate an item that we're stealing from an enemy if we already have um, one or more of those items currently in our inventory so if that's the case we need to get rid of those items from our inventory before we use the duplicate technique for the purposes of this video we need to deplete our inventory of the following items the Minerva Band, the Zedric and the Tough Ring. Now if you've been following along with my guide up until this point or if you've just collected all instances of these items then you'll probably find you have one Minerva Band, two Zedrics and one Tough Ring. As a side note, although we don't steal this from the boss then uh, we can also use the advanced W item steal glitch to duplicate Shinra Alphas on another enemy a little bit further on during the Midgar return. Turn. So what you need to do is either sell these items out of your inventory or even better equip them on party members that you're not going to be using. You can even equip them on party members you are going to be using just make sure they're not in your actual inventory okay and that's very very important you cannot as I say use the glitch on any item that currently exists in your inventory you can with the standard version of the W item technique where you're just duplicating battle items but not with any of these advanced techniques so there we go I'm just going to sort out the Zedric onto Kate Sith and get him out of the party we don't want him here and then we're pretty much ready to go Oh, as a side note, once you've defeated Diamond Weapon, before going back to Midgar, you'll find that Ultimate Weapon is uh, now scouring the place. One thing to point out is that you might want to leave him until Disc 3, because we can use these advanced steel techniques using W item materia on Ultimate Weapon himself. Now eventually as we go through the return to Midgar section we're going to make our way through this shaft and when we exit this shaft on the other side we're going to be in the familiar train tunnels we saw similar ones earlier on if you remember uh, but we're not going to head north it's very important because if you head north then you're going to kick off the event with the Turks even before the next screen so be careful instead we're going to go south and just go all the way south there's a lot of train track to get through uh, there's a few items you can grab from chests on the way but ultimately you're going to the end of the road or the end of the line so to speak where 
where the yellow shiny WI to Materia is waiting for us, handily next to a save point. But also thanks to those on live stream for pointing out that actually we're better off not using that save point. Uh, just make our way back to the shaft that we crawled through because that save point is actually closer to the Turks and the one that's best to use so that if we need to reload uh, because we do something wrong using the advanced W item glitch on the boss fight, we haven't got as far to run back. Now, before you save, I do recommend just setting up your party, which is really simple to do if you're just going to do exactly what I did and I'm going to explain that to you. Uh, but we'll just get next to the save point first so we can save once we're all good to go here. And it did take me a couple of attempts, I'll be honest with you, to get this glitch working correctly, um, but hopefully Hopefully, you know, you might get it first time. In terms of setup then, first things first, we're going to want our dummy item. So that's the greens that we purchased towards the top of the item list here for easy access in battle. And we're going to need three, but you might want to have four up here. It's up to you. In either case, you need four usable items. Okay, three of them have to be the dummy items of which we only have one each. And the fourth can either be another dummy item or any other usable battle item. I'll just be using an X potion. And with that set up, we're going to head over to the materia here. Make sure one person has W item equipped, obviously. And then on a different character, you're going to want steel equipped. Okay, now what I'm going to recommend is on this character for this particular boss fight, you have Hades added effect combination in armor. And that will allow you to use the Sneak Glove for successful steel chance increasing rather than having to use a Ribbon. And Elena does cast Confuse, so you are going to need a Ribbon type effect even if you don't have the Ribbon equipped. Uh, and finally on your third party member I recommend a restore all combination so that you can cast regen and one final thing uh, make sure you have the ATB set to wait mode that way while you're going through the glitch and duplicating items the uh, enemies aren't going to be attacking you right then okay once you're done make sure you save and we should be good to go now just follow what I do exactly and hopefully you'll get this on the first attempt, but if not, at least you can reload and you're right there next to the boss fight to try again. Now, this fight is against three Turks, Elena, Reno and Rude, and each of them has an item we can steal. The Zedric, the Minerva Band and the Tough Ring. Hence the reason why we've emptied all instances of those items from our inventory. So we can get 99 of each here using this particular glitch. Right, here we go then. And you've got to get the timing down right on this, so don't worry if you don't get it first time, once you got the hang of it, it's no problem. Step one is cast a spell. While the spell animation is happening, or before it happens, have character two select steel, and then have character three, before steel happens, use one of your dummy items so you have an empty space in your inventory. There goes the spell, here comes the steel, there's the successful steal. We can now use the W item glitch to duplicate that successful steal up to a maximum of 99. So just to clarify then guys, you need to cast a spell first. This is important because it will get an animation in the queue so that you can then queue up your steal and open up your W item window in order to get an empty space by casting your dummy item um, before the steal actually goes off. If you don't cast a spell with your first party member, as soon as you select steal, yeah, you're going to steal before you even open the W item glitch and then it's going to add the steal onto the bottom of your item list. It won't put it into an empty space, which is what you need. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but just do exactly what I do there and uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So because we've got the ATB set to wait mode, the Turks here are not going to attack us. So there's really no rush here. Uh, just be careful because if you press the wrong button, you're going to mess up and as soon as you close the W item window here, the inventory window, then you cannot glitch that particular item anymore. You'll have to reload if you want to get 99 and didn't get 99. So there we have it, 99 items. We can now proceed with the other two steals and it's the same process. So we're just going to come out of the menu now that we have uh, 99 of the first steal and repeat the process. So I'm not going to cast regen this time, we'll just cast cure 3. And immediately we'll get Steel in the queue, this time on Rude, and then cast Regan Greens. That's our second dummy item, leaving an empty space in the item list. And hopefully the Steel will be successful. It is. There's the Zedric of Rude, and we can proceed to duplicate the Zedric again up to a maximum of 99. So, one question that might arise here is what if the Steel is unsuccessful? 
So you've already cast your dummy item, but then it says you couldn't steal the item. What happens? Well, actually, that isn't a problem at all. Simply use the duplicate trick anyway, and that will put the dummy item back into your inventory. But only use the duplicate once on that occasion. You don't want to get more than one of your dummy item back, and then just follow the same steps again. So come out the W item window once your dummy item is back in the inventory, and go through the process of casting a spell, etc. And just keep repeating that until the steal is successful. Once the steal is successful and the item gets added to your list, then you can duplicate it as we're doing here. But fortunately, even if the steal is unsuccessful, you don't have to reload. You can just do that little trick I taught you. Okay, so we're nearly at 99 here. Uh, which means that there'll just be one final item for us to glitch in this particular fight. And that is going to be the Tough Ring from Reno. So this is going to work slightly differently because we can't actually see where the dummy item is going to be located or where it was located um, once we try and do the glitch here. So we're going to go through the same process. We're going to uh, have our first party member cast a spell. We're then going to have a, a second party member choose the steal command on Reno. And we're going to cast our final dummy item, the Silcus Greens, uh, before steal actually is cast. So there goes Cure. Hopefully the Tough Ring will be stolen. And it is. So now we're going to do the same process, only on this occasion, I cannot see how many Tough Rings we're duplicating. But that isn't a big problem either. We can just keep stopping the glitch to scroll up and see how many we've got. Because we've got the ATB set to wait mode, we can really take all the time that we want to do this. There's no rush whatsoever. In either case, it's only going to take you a few minutes, and hopefully with any luck, you'll have 99 Minerva Bands, 99 Zedrix, and 99 Tough Rings. A great introdu introduction uh, to the advanced W item glitching method here. So, there we have it. I don't think we'll uh, keep Reno, Rude, and Elena in suspense any longer. They've been very good hosts for us. Very patiently waited as we've stolen all these items. Let's finish them off quickly. It's the least we can do, isn't it, with a good old Knights of the Round cast. But, obviously, guys, there's a, a lot further application we can use the W item advanced techniques with a little bit later on and I'm going to be showing those to you as well but don't forget to make sure you check out Lomax's videos he gives a tremendous comprehensive overview of the entire W item glitching system from start to finish and all of the uses that it can be uh, useful for so please do go and check that out I've watched his videos myself found them very very helpful and that's it for me for today guys for future W item glitches I'll make sure to share those with you but I hope you all have a fantastic day, a wonderful 2020, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.